friends how are you i hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new live trading video from extreme trader this is salah speaking now of course if you remember guys in the last week i have shared with you one of my best if not the best strategies for trading forex i have ever encountered in my life and i decided that i will share it with everyone on public for free to support those who want to be successful in forex but i was prepared for the criticisms and i know that there were so many people who will not agree with this and they will just say this is a joke this is bullshit this is not working and i'm feeling sorry for them so let's now rock their world and let's show them the true power of using trend lines in our trades so let me go now to the platform and i will show you how we can find setups now let's uh, jump to the pairs one by one and by the way i will use big lot this time i will use 1.5 lot because i want to aim a small uh, reversal which can actually give me a uh, profit so let me tell you what i'm looking for the thing i'm looking for is i want to see a trend that is actually going up or going down uh, this one is not what I want because we can see that the trend here has uh, the candles are going up and now they are pulled back that is not what I want I want to see a candles or market actually going straight up so I can draw my trend line I can and then I can actually place my sell option here if the trend is going up and I will uh, get some pips here from the reversal of the pullback and I will identify the place of the pullback using the trend lines and of course vice versa when the candle is going down i will draw a trend line uh, i will draw a trend line and then i will place my buy option and then i will catch the reversal when the market going up now the thing here in this market for example it has already went down so this is a missed opportunity for me but just for curiosity let's see if i could have caught this wait a minute my phone is ringing okay let's see if I could have caught this uh, setup before it uh, before it uh, appear so what we have here is a support so let me tell you something if you have watched the last video you should know that if you want to place sell we will look for a previous resistance which will become the new sub I'm sorry if we are looking for sell we will look for a previous support which will become the new resistance and therefore we need to draw our trend line what happened here the, ah, there was I think there was a lag or the market was uh, something somehow off just now the market appeared so let me just continue my phrase if we are looking for placing sell we need to place our trend line on a support zone or a support level and then look for a previous resistance which will become the new support if we want to place buy we need to to look for a previous resistance and then clone the trend line and place it on a previous support which will become the new resistance that is the rule so now let's uh, try to find something this one has already reversed so it's not good uh, this one as well this one is already reversed as well we can see that all of them has actually reversed now let's see this one here this one is going a little bit up uh, let me switch to the 30 minutes and I think we can get something here now since I'm looking for sell I will draw my trend line on a support level now the question which one to be honest anyone I will just pick randomly this support line here like that so I draw my trend line on this uh, from this law to this higher law so it is actually from this support to this support now what i will do is i will simply drag this line here and i will place it on this previous support right here so let me do it let me zoom in more hold on so we have this support here actually this uh, has already happened this is not gonna be working on the setup so let me do something else let me erase this support line and what i will do is i will draw the support line from this low here to this low here and then i'm going to clone it and place it where on this previous support here 
like that so I placed it on this support and on the support now I will wait for this candle to go more up and then from this point I can actually sell the market and we can get out with some pips it's not likely that the candle will reverse now I believe it will go a little bit more up before it actually reverse and hit this trend line and then we can aim about six pips if I enter my if I place my sell option right here I will exit my trade at the nearest support or resistance which in this uh, case will be right here so anyway uh, I don't want to make this video long as usual so let me try to find some uh, setup which I can use immediately without wasting your time uh, currently can't this is uh, this is a good one let me show you this is a trade that I have entered this morning you can see what I did I simply draw the trend line from this support here to this support here then what I did was just simply clone it and place this trend line on this support here so by doing that like this so I placed my trend line on this support level here and then we have this bearish breakout so this level has become the new resistance and I got out with uh, some sweet pips I remember it was like uh, maybe about eight pips or something like that but it was a good deal and that is the power of my strategy so now we can see that we just need to find a market that is going up or down and we can actually fa uh, catch the reversals so I'm just now looking hopefully I can find something quickly um, uh, still looking for find to find something actually okay this might be a good one let me do something now the market here is going down and uh, remember I'm on the four hour chart let me switch to the one hour chart and we can see that the market now is going down so what I will do since I am placing I'm looking for buy what I will do is I will place my trend line from this resistance to this resistance and then what I will do is I'm going to clone it and just actually drag it sorry not clone it and we can see that this is the nearest resistance to this breakout to this bullish breakout and I place my trend line exactly on this uh, resistance let me erase it so you can see here and also we can see it was also a support trend line in the past meaning this is a very good place for buy I place the buy option and the spread is very high because I'm on the euro pollen I'm on the euro PLN I'm not looking what I'm doing <laughs> it's okay I still think it's fine uh, it's okay it still should be fine I usually man uh, usually I actually place the gold as a border uh, between the major currencies and these currencies which I usually don't trade I just like to prepare to trade these major currencies uh, I usually place this gold here because it's, uh, it has different color anyway uh, this trade should still be fine the spread was very high because it is not major uh, pair if you look carefully on the left chart we can see the spread is actually quite low on all pairs it is less, less than uh, 1.5 pips on all the pairs except for here below the gold we can see that it's high that is because these are not really recommended to trade anyway I uh, still should be a good deal and let me now try to find something else just to kill the time I am on the one hour chart and let me try something here now this market is going up Let's switch to the 30 minutes you can do it by the way on any time frame any time frame now I'm on the 15 minute time frame just wait a minute 
uh, I'm sure the market will, con will correct itself. I believe I have uh, some connection uh, issue. Okay. Now let's see. Since I'm looking for a uh, sell, so what I will do is I will draw a support from this support to this support here, like that. Then what I will do is I'm going to place it on a resistance, meaning right here. Uh, sorry, on other, another support, I'm sorry. Another support, meaning right here. Now what I need to do is actually wait for this candle to come up all the way so this previous uh, support will become the new resistance and we can see it was also a previous uh, resistance in the past so it is actually gonna be a good deal as well so yeah it's gonna be a good deal but I want something immediately let's see this one I will draw my trend line from this support to this support notice I'm not taking so much time to pick my entry this is actually a very good one okay let me tell you what just what I just did I just draw my support trend line from this uh, low here to this low here and what I did next was drag it all the way to this support here as simple as that drag it right like that so we can see oh my god look at that guys do you see that the touch has happened and the candle went up exactly to this point and then reversed let's uh, zoom in so you can see it look at that the market reached this point exactly and then reversed so this is a good uh, level for placing sell uh, it is actually quite strong and oh shit sorry okay oh my god come on yeah that that took a lot of uh... okay good no problem we're still fine I'm just trading big lots because I know my strategy and I know what I'm doing so we can see if we want to check this one let me just make it a little back so let's analyze it in the past it was also a strong resistance and even if we, if we go back more it was also another resistance and then it was another resistance after the, after the breakout then it was another support so this level is stronger as a resistance we can see it has been respected as a resistance on this level and even here on this level and here and here and right now on here as well that's why I believe this is a very good entry and as usual since I place my trade here I will exit my trade at the nearest support which is in this case right here so um, let's check this one this one I'm telling you also look at that it's already reversing and moreover I see my favorite price action so this candle here is indicating that the market should actually start reversing and go more up yeah um, I really don't like at all when I am doing like that I should actually pay more attention to which pair I'm trading I'm being honest with everyone that sometimes I'm just rushing and just checking the pairs one by one without even looking what I'm trading <laughs> that is that's because I'm a scalper mainly uh, since I'm just a scalper and I'm just aiming some uh, reversals or small pips from any reversal it might happen that I actually can miss uh, looking at the pair so anyway let me now pause the video and I will show you what will gonna happen later allow me to show you the setup which I have found here uh, what I did was actually cloning or drawing this support trend line on this support from this support to this support as well so now by cloning this one or actually by dragging it to this support level this this week here this is a support trend line as well so by doing that we can see that the market is actually approaching as well a good setup for I think we cannot yes so I had to place my sell option right on this level now of course we cannot just keep doing this blindly we need to also be logic with our trades what I'm looking also for is on the left we see here that we have a resistance and we have this breakout from the uh, previous support here meaning we have here a bearish breakout candle and we have here a resistance and also as well we have the trend line the trend line has confirmed me which uh, entry level I should look for and that's why 
I place the sell option here and again of course since I'm going to scalp the market I will just exit my trade at the nearest support which is right here this should give me about since I'm on the 30 minute time frame this should give me about five to six pips of profit so now we have all these uh, three trades running right now and so far they are in loss and that is normal of course we cannot expect to be immediately in profit just uh, give it some time and notice something please that my trade here at the entry is way too early uh, the trade should actually has been entered on this trend line not here but anyway uh, this should be fine because I think we are what five pips which was good actually but anyway that should be fine so now let me pause the video and see what will gonna happen later and let's continue and show you what happened with these trades as you see guys uh, this trade is now reversing but I want to close it because this is not a major pair uh, major pair this is the European Euro Poland and I don't trade that pair and we can see this one actually reversing exactly even though if my trade was a little bit early or late still the reversal happened exactly as I said on this trend line and remember I just used tr this trend line I didn't rely on any hit and run or anything else I just purely used the trend line to catch about six pips twenty dollars profit and close it and that's it that's how I'm keeping myself uh, safe in the market I'm just accepting few uh, pips as a scalper and I'm growing my account this account was two hundred dollars in the last week now it's growing slowly and if I failed one trade it's fine because I can recover from the next trades because the strategy I'm using is having a very high winning ratio and again I'm telling you if losing one trade that is fine because after three four trades I can easily recover with the profit uh, the loss if it, if it occurs so now I will pause the video again to show you what will gonna happen with this trade and also I'm going to look for another trade to enter so I can show you the power of this strategy allow me to show you what I found here and I need to place my sell option immediately without any delay uh, let me tell you what I saw here on the AUD USD what I saw here was if I draw my trend line on this support here we can see that this support was actually very uh, power uh, strong uh, level because we can see that this support has become here as well as a, as a resistance and then in the future also it became another strong support level so this trend line here is actually strong so what I did was simply drag this trend line and place it based on this previous support here so if we look at the history of this support we can see that it was also a strong resistance and a strong support as well and he, even here we can see that there was a small reversal as a resistance meaning this level is actually quite strong as a resistance and I'm expecting that the market will uh, reverse and go down at this point here but not only that but if we look at the left we can see here we had another resistance so this level is again strong and the market is expected to reverse at this point here and therefore I decided to place the sell order and I will keep this trend line as it is to show you the real power of trend lines how it can give us the best entry possible I don't believe the candle will uh, go above this trend line uh, seeing the history when we see the market reversed exactly on uh, these levels on, just on touching this of the trend line so I believe that the market now will reverse and we will be in profit very soon so let me now pause the video and I will come back to show you later what will gonna happen for the last trade guys I decided I will enter this one but with a smaller lot uh, okay let me just explain to you the reason I took this trade it was very simple uh, since I want to place a buy option on this point here uh, because we can see the candles is going down so what I did was drawing the trend line on this resistance here from this resistance to this one and then I simply moved it or dragged it to this uh, next resistance or other resistance right here so by doing that just drag it like that yeah we can tell that 
now is actually the right moment to enter and we can expect the market to reverse from this point here especially if we want to do more analysis on it we can see that we have also a support level on this uh, there is a support here as well on this level so meaning this could be a very good place for buy and I think I placed my trade a little bit early no actually that's fine with the spread for the USD CAD so it's good to scalp the market here now of course not only the trend lines but we can also rely on the previous support right here so we have here a previous support and we have this uh, trend line as well now I have to prepare for a failed trade it's possible that this trade might fail of course I never claim that my strategy never fail I never claim that it does work all of the time there are moments when the strategy uh, can fail and I don't mind actually to show it on the video I just want to do more analysis on this one just to be sure that if this trade is gonna fail I will close it with a loss and then I can easily recover from the previous trades but actually I think this is a good entry uh, not only the trend lines as I said we have also this strong support level so this level was as strong as a support in the past and even after this bullish breakout here we can still expect the market to reverse and to continue to go more up until hitting this previous uh, resistance so what I'm going to do uh, I will keep uh, all these three trades running and I will show you what will gonna happen next with these three trades and yeah let's now pause the video just to keep you updated I want to show you this look at this uh, AUD CAD trade which I have taken please notice something the candle went down all the way to barely kissed or barely touched the trend line I have drawn and you can see now the candle is actually reversing and going more up as I told you using the support and the resistance is very strong to identify the level look at that now the candle is going up above my entry point again I'm telling you the support and resistance they can give you the really good places for buy and sell but using the trend line can give you the ultimate place to play uh, the, up, the ultimate uh, uh, pure or clear or accurate level to place your buy or sell look how perfect the candle just barely touched this trend line and then reversed and now it's going more up I need to be honest with you I I I need more to make more videos about uh, the trend line strategy because it's really not uh, clear to so many and the reason is I'm the one who made up this strategy and it's my strategy I know how to use it and it's really difficult to explain how to use it to others because you need experience in the market to be able to use this strategy uh, for the beginners it might be a little bit tricky it might be confusing but I'm really shocked when I see um, uh, experienced experienced traders who are still struggling to understand it I mean it's really very powerful it's extremely effective and I really love this uh, style of trading it gives me so many good uh, shots and actually a lot of profit so again we can see the candle now moving up it's reversing uh, I will wait for this candle to come all the way up actually to to this previous resistance here so we can look for about four, uh, between four and five pips of profit before I close it uh, later so guys now let me pause the video and I will show you what will gonna happen with these trades later so we are back now and we can see the trades are actually going in profit we have this one actually is giving about yeah three to four pips of profit I will close this one now we got what we want and uh, this one is actually going as well and we can see now the reversal is happening at the next nearest support uh, six pips of profit the candle has reached the support so I will close it as well we only have the last trade which I believe uh, I can close it but if we want to think carefully about it just look what will happen now or let me show you this if I simply drag this trend line the, the very same trend line I draw here what will happen if I place it here on this resistance let's see what will gonna happen check this out like that perfect the, re the reversal happened exactly on this point here 
meaning if I placed my buy option right here on this level I could have ended this trade in profit now I need to wait to see what will gonna happen uh, my my entry was not so accurate but placing the resistance line uh, on this resistance here actually has given me the best entry but I missed it because I entered way too early so yeah uh, this is the only remaining trade and to be honest with you it might take more time and I need to end the recording now I will see what will gonna happen let me tell you what I will decide if the candle will it close as this shape here like that I will leave the trade running because there is still might a chance for the candle to reverse and go more up if the candle closed as a full bar like this as a full bar meaning the market might most likely will go more down and I will close it with a loss but either way we are in good profit and I made about $50 to $60 of profit that is fine I can now make more trades and recover the loss very easily so guys uh, it's 26 minutes I don't want to make this video so long I wanted to show you that we can enter so many trades using the trend line strategy and prove it that this is one of the be most successful ways of trading uh, especially when we are scalping so I really hope this was informative to you guys and I would like to thank you for watching